I'm jacked up. Uh, Lex just called me. At this point, you've probably seen my last video where the Amberjacks showed up on the, the wreck um, inshore here in Wilmington. Well, I had the idea when we were out there that we should get some tuna poppers and go back. I'm actually dog sitting, so I did not fish this morning because I didn't want to leave the dog in the kennel for 18 hours. And Lex went, well, Lex just called me. I'm at the gym, I'm mid set. He's like, dude, you ain't gonna believe it, but those amber jacks are knocking, are knocking these plugs in the air. We've uh, lost two poppers. My buddy is throwing swim baits, he's hooked up, he lost it. We're getting broke off. So I dropped, I dropped everything, went and got my bag. I was mid set. I probably knocked a hole in the floor from dropping the weights to get out of there. But I'm going right now to, to Texas Tackle. I'm gonna pick up some 50 pound mono and fluorocarbon. I'm not sure what I wanna use yet, but I'm gonna rig these uh, poppers up because I bought some too and I'm heading out now. This is not a conventional intro, but I wanted to give you guys a backstory of uh, what's going on right now, so. I just made it out and when I said poppers earlier, this is what I was talking about. I ended up bringing three with me and I'm gonna try 50 pound fluorocarbon first. I also have 40 tied on a separate rod in case they can see that line. I know they have very good vision. I should be able to land or at least get them interested with one of those. I do think it's gonna be a few hours before they feed again because of uh, Lex, I talked to Lex and Elias and they both uh, said that they kind of turned off here in the last hour or two. So we'll try other things until they start hitting again. But uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll, we'll see if we get on one. So on my way out, I actually ran into a bunch of Spanish, so I'm easing my way back over there. I've got my fly rod. I'm gonna try to fly cast and cast into these Spanish and see if I can hook up on any. All right, shout out to 432 Fishing. I had to stop and cast at these Spanish that are going crazy. I've already lost two of these from cutoffs. All right, we're on. So we just uh, tightened down our leader and ended up hooking up first shot. Oh, I'm like riding in it right now. I'm really excited. I just, I'm struggling to get, the, get it all together right now. Spanish don't fly. I'm getting so many hits, guys. Oh, that's a good one. There's a good one. Right, there's a good one. Just working. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, taking a little bit of drag, huh? All right, we're gonna swing it back in the boat. That's number two on fly. That's number two. These are like 12 to 14 inch Spanish. So a lot of fun, especially on a fly rod. All right, Spanish on fly. All right, they're kind of behind me now, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, oh, I had a blow up, I had a blow up. Casting into the wind now. I'm not too great at that, guys. Oh, we on. We on. Set it. Hook on that one. We on. All right. That's awesome. They're loving this, man. It's 43.2 fishing. Uh, it's, on, it's tied on like a live bait hook. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. I'll put a link uh, for Travis's Instagram, 43.2 Fishing. Spanish on fly. Right, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're stripping, stripping, stripping. I'm stripping. I don't get hit. Oh, he's going after it. All right, we're back out. Oh, I had a hit. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> 
there. Oh, we on. We're on. We are on. All right, working them back to the other side. All right. Cool, man. This is so much fun. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Got to be careful with these things, man, because they will cut you up. These little Spanish razor sharp teeth. All right, we just moved up. Well, the intentions were to uh, use the popper and fish, but I ran into these Spanish, so I'm like, oh, God, I got the fly rod. I got to try to get them. So. That's why you guys are seeing me stopping and fishing for these things. They're thick right now. Right by the boat, guys. Stripping. Stripping. Oh, we on. We're on. Oh, we got off. This is so much fun. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Right, he is on there. Whew. All right. Oh, that's a better one compared to the ones that I've been catching. Woo. Man, they were just swiping all under the boat right now. I feel like this will work really well. All right, two hits, three hits, four hits. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, I had a hit. I was connected. Oh, got one. We on. Oh, that's a good one. I think this might be the better one for the day. All right. Come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on. All right. There we go. Cool, man. Oh, they are destroyed. Man, this poor fly. I need to switch it out. This is, uh, this thing is looking pitiful. I don't know how much you guys can see on that screen right there, but. Now I'm heading out for the original plan, which was to throw poppers at the wreck. I have about an hour and a half before it starts to get dark. I think that that's gonna be my best shot at actually getting an amberjack with a popper. I think lower light, boat traffic calms down. We're gonna head out and try it. We'll see what happens. All right, bait's busting right here, guys. I mean, that is 20 feet from, from the boat. Ah, that was 20 feet from the boat. Oh, 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 did you see those guys? The Amberjacks went for it. That was some big ones, dude. They were bigger than the other day. There was like two or three that followed it right to the boat. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, he just destroyed that thing, guys. <sighs> got him. All right, this drag is completely locked down because these fish are so strong. Oh. I got on 50 pound fluorocarbon and this is 55 pound braid. Oh, got me that's that's 50 pound flora completely locked down drag wow 
Wow, took me right to the ship. Holy, oh my gosh. That was completely locked down, guys. I'm gonna tie another one and try it again. All right, guys, I just got re-rigged. I, I have no words. My drag was locked down. I've got a 5,000 Saragossa. I don't know of a, a different saltwater reel that has the capability to stop these fish other than a conventional style. But I'm gonna try again. I've got two more of these poppers. I feel like I'm gonna catch one and it's gonna have a mouthful for me and Lex both trying this. I see the bait up there busting, so we're gonna try it again. There he is, there he is. Oh, oh, got him. Got him, got him. Come here. Come here, come here. Come here, boy. He is completely turning the boat right now. He snapped. He snapped 55 pound line. I, I can't do anything different than that. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I, 55 pound line, he just straight snapped it and about ripped me out of the boat. So I'm gonna have to rig up a rod with 80. I mean, I, cause I, I can't just accept defeat like that. <laughs> oh, for the love of the game. All for the love of the game, right? I'm trying to think what I could have done differently yesterday. The other day when I went fishing, I tried to use 80 pound leader and they wouldn't hit it. Today they broke. One of them got me into the wreck. The other one just straight snapped my line. And it could have been because of abrasion on the side of the boat because he did about rip me out. But <laughs> I don't know what to do any different. I'm thinking uh, maybe 80 pound line on one of these rod and reels and then try to bump my leader up to like 60 or 70. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments. Shoot me a like. Thanks for watching these videos, guys. I've been I've been trying to stay busy for you. If I can help you with any real estate needs, my contact information is down below. Thank you. I'll catch you next time. All right, guys.